And we're back with round three of uh, Singapore's third premier challenge. Uh, for our stream today, we have uh, Suharika versus uh, Wang Zixuan. I mean, uh, this one I, I will say personally is interesting. Zhu Harikas is uh, kind of a, a, doubt, a doubt horse last year. Uh, we, I mean, he has been to our events, yeah. but it wasn't really at the top. And then suddenly he's in day two of uh, World so. <laughs> Well, to be fair, he did talk to <laughs> Singapore Nets as well. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those who has following us uh, would probably recognize him being the uh, second place in uh, our Singapore Nationals uh, previous season. It was uh, one against uh, Zarif Ivan. Yeah. I think he, uh, he was the uh, one who actually came out from almost nowhere, although we did yeah. notice him looking here and there. Uh, he came out from almost nowhere and then started wrecking the, wrecking the entire meta game that we were playing. Um, Sushan is also one of the other players that's just like that. Yeah. He's also done pretty well in some of the premier challenges and regionals and stuff like that. Quite a quiet kid, we're not sure who he <laughs> does, but he always seems to go with a bit of an, unorth a bit of an, on an orthodox option. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. we'll see both players, all uh, styles, and now we're seeing both players setting up here. I mean, yeah, both players uh, have shown to be actually good. How both are actually very quiet players. Yeah, very quiet so. players, very good players. We're yeah. not sure what goes on in their minds, but so we're kind of hoping to see. So we're kind <laughs> of hoping that we can see what they are up to uh, with the stream. Yes, we 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 have ulterior motives. Yeah. I mean, um, looking at their teams, uh, currently both are... I uh, will mention their teams specifically later, but currently both are actually running Charizards on their team, so... Oh wow, that's... that's uh, well, that makes sense, considering their play style. <laughs> um, Zul has always liked using Charizard Y, same with Zuxian actually. Uh, they did pretty well with both... With, they're pretty, well, pretty good Charizard Y users. And uh, are we going into team preview? And we are waiting for them to get ready to get into team preview. Uh, wait, let's just point out our big similarities of that team. Right now, both teams are actually running uh, Charizard, Landorus, and Cresselia. Uh, both also have a fighting type on their team, uh, electric type. The one big difference is that one team is using a Heatran, while another team is using quite a... No, oh. no. Oh, no. Oh, Conqueda. Oh, Conqueda yeah, would be the, the, uh, similar to the Blaziken. Um, I'm guessing it's a bit confusing as we speak now, but let me show the team preview soon. Ah, there you there go. go. And uh, on Zul's side, we see Charizard, Heatran, Landris, Cresselia, Heliolisk, and Conkelder. While on Tushian's side, we see Toragli, um, Thunderous Sea, Charizard, Blaziken, Cresselia, and Landris. I think both of these players are probably <laughs> going to play with uh, Charizard, Landris, Cresselia core. Although it's very interesting to see the uh, Unorthodox choices like Paragli and Heliolisk. Heliolisk, I have seen it time to time. Paragli, I've, I don't believe I've seen it at all. Um, Paragli is actually one of Sushian's uh, sort of sneakier <laughs> uh, Pokemon. It's, it's probably his fake outer, and I think it possibly might be the, might, that he's infamous for having a Paragli that has fake out and last resort. Only those two moves. Oh, that's. Well, that's kind of sneaky as you mentioned. Yeah. I I'm just happy there's a cat there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if you think about it, both the Landorai are cats. So, well, um, anyway. Well, one cat versus two cats. Two cats better than and one. And we, we can see that uh, Zoharaga is most likely probably going to play a Sun Charizard <laughs> because of Charizard Y, because of the Heliolisk and the Heatran. Probably trying to wreck as much with his fire moves before his opponent can retire. It's quite interesting to see how both of them will play against each other considering they're using possibly the same mega. Unless uh, Zushua is using a Charizard X. Uh, both teams pretty much have their Charizards, their Landorus, their uh, Cresselia. They have their electric types being both Heliolis and uh, Thunderous. Their fighting types are either Sense, Conqueror and Blaziken. Their fire types will be Heatran and I guess Blaziken as well. But Zushua does have their Paragli. Yes, that Paragli, <laughs> but I'm not sure whether it's going to really help against this game. Anyways, we are going straight into the battle. Um, Zushian versus Zul. Well, let's see how this goes. I mean, as you mentioned, uh, Zul's team uh, I mean, likes to use the sun. We have his Heliolis, his, uh, I guess his Heatran as well. Yes. Uh, it's kind of a slight advantage in Zul's side in a sense because uh, Zushian has to send out his Charizard one way or another and that will probably help keep sun as uh, up as long as possible as well. 
And we see that actually uh, Zhishuan decides to go for a blazing Cresselia lead in uh, contrast to Zul's Charizard and Heatran. Now, Zul obviously probably wanting to go for the fire attack offense right off the bat, but Zhishuan cleverly brings his uh, Blaziken, which actually threatens his Heatran and possibly might do some damage to Charizard or at least resist his attacks. I mean, Cresselia is a bit. Cresselia is probably. I, I don't know, I guess he can use uh, like a Trick Room or Icy Wind, things like that to help uh, control his speed at the moment. However, right now, it's not really in a position to do too much. There's always a possibility that the Blaziken could end up being the uh, Blaziken Mega. Yep. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what's going on here because, well, we have no idea what, what could possibly play out because I don't think that Cristiano would Trick Room while Blaziken has speed. Use. I mean, it is unlikely, however, I mean, anything can still happen. We see Charizard actually switching out to Landorus, uh, wanting to launch off the Intimidate. Interesting that, interesting that Charizard was the one to switch out and not Heatran. You think that Heatran would be in danger. And oh. it seems like the Heatran is actually faster than the Blaziken turn 1. Uh, Ooh, that was that, so close. That is so close. But it doesn't matter because Blaziken decides to go for the Rock Tomb on the Charizard, which is now the Landorus. And with oh. the Life Form, it takes itself out. That is a, <laughs> that is a very weird... That's it is a very interesting way to take out um, one's blaze again. Icy uh, Wind doing not really a lot of damage, but lowering both the Landorus and the Heatran's speed. That was a critical hit on Landorus. Uh, I mean, it's not going to KO it, but it is now in orange. And now Landorus is at minus two speed. It's a very high possibility that the Landorus might actually be an assault vest, judging from the damage that it's been taking. Of course, this now opens up uh, Zixian to bring in maybe his... Landorus is actually a good switch because now it uh, lowers the Landorus, the opposing Landorus attack while threatening um, Zul's Heatran. And now uh, Zul, he might want to take the Heatran or the Landorus out, but he doesn't. He might not want to send Charizard in for fear of Earthquake. And he does instead oh, go side. for <laughs> Cresselia as well. So now we still have a Cres uh, we have we pretty much have Cresselia, Landorus, and I guess a Charizard on both sides of the team. Uh, we have not seen what Tishan actually sends out for his last Pokemon. Very clever uh, protect by Zul as he switches in his Cresselia, trying to scout out what the Landris is going to use. Cresselia still using Icy Wind, doesn't hit the, Crisel the opposing Cresselia, but I don't think it's uh, going to matter not, too much. Yeah, Cresselia is already a very slow Pokemon, so a decrease in speed uh, not going to do much in, at all. It could, it could come down to it because we see a lot of a bit of a mirror with these two teams, both of them bringing both Landris, and yet yeah, I would assume that Tishan has his Charizard in the back. And the Cresselia, I, I it, it seems like they really did bring both both of them did bring yes. their cores. I so mean, the main difference here is probably the Blazikers against the Hichon. And we already seen the Blaziken yeah. taken out of the picture, so it seems like Tushan might be in a well. That Tushan, while he currently has the offensive advantage um, on the field right now, he might be in a tight position to begin with. So the Earthquake just come out straight on, uh, from Tushan's side of the field. We Not gonna affect uh, neither Cresselius, but uh, oh! And we see a sugar berry from Heatran, obviously why Zul didn't bother switching out. But it doesn't matter, it takes it out. It's, it's not even a crit. And that was with the... This was no, a sugar berry. Yes. There was no Intimidate, so it was uh, pretty much at full power. Uh, minus a sugar berry, probably a choice ban, I guess. Yes, we don't see any life or uh, recoil, so I'm pretty sure that uh, Landris is probably a choice ban. An unorthodox uh, solution to an unorthodox <laughs> problem, I suppose. Um, oh. Oh. Carmine going Carmine. on to Cresselia from uh, Zul's side. Zul is probably prepared to go straight for an IC win from uh, yeah, his own Cresselia. It seems to be like those kind of bulky offense Cresselia with Carmine. I mean, it, could be, it could be Ice Beam instead of IC win as well. Yeah, true. I mean, Ice Beam would be a better uh, attacking option in this case. So we see uh, Zul's on uh, Landorus coming out, launching the Intimidate. What's, in, what's interesting here is that currently Zul's being stopped by that um, Cresselia. He, he can't bring... Uh, actually, to be honest, if, if that Landorus turns out to be a, cho a choice banded one, he could actually bring his uh, Charizard in quite safely here since it will be locked into Earthquake. I mean, in this case... Uh, I mean, a choice banner earthquake would have been a word choice on Tushan's side because his earthquake is now unable to hit anything on Zul's field. Yes, Charizard is flying, Landorus is flying, uh, Cresselia is levitating. He'll probably have to switch out his um his Landorus this turn. I mean, if uh, if Zul managed to pick that out, he'll probably go straight into the psyching onto that slot. 
uh, how, I mean, he could go for a rock slide. However, there is a risk of uh, his own ladders being hit by the Cresselia. And he sees that uh, Sushan is calling that. Uh Alright, so we do actually there is an ice beam now coming out from the Cressella onto the uh Zeus on Landerus. Landerus is going down. We see icy wind from Zeus Cressella taking out the choice vendor Landerus. And it's an interesting position. I think they are both stuck with Cressella Charizard versus Cressella Charizard. <laughs> if it turns out that, that Sushin did bring Charizard his last. I mean, at Zul's side, he does have a paralyzed uh, Cresselia, so. But it that is won't, plus one. It yeah, is plus one. That one quarter paralysis just might matter somewhere yeah. down the road. Yeah. However, the yeah. plus one also does help uh, Zul. So it's kind of even in a, in a way. I do believe that this might come down to a battle between the Charizards or the Cresselias. It really depends on how much damage one of them is able to inflict on the other and who's able to take the other one out first. In which case, uh, that Carmine might actually help Zul here. Uh, now we see uh, both players taking the time to actually send out, probably actually thinking what the next move will be. Uh, making advantage of the timer or switching in Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> so now we see a shiny Charizard versus a non-shiny Charizard. I'm pretty sure both of them are Charizard-wise though. So we see Charizard and Cressella versus Charizard and Cressella. Both have not yet Mega Evolve, I believe, so probably a slight speed tie. And we see that they're Mega Evolving. This is, it's interesting that, the, that they both managed to maneuver each other into this kind of position where they're both facing a mirror match. It's pretty much almost an exact same mirror match. I mean, as mentioned before, Zoo is a bit disadvantaged with his paralyzed Cressella, but it is, as you said, plus one, so... That might be all it needs to turn the tide of the battle. Uh, okay, so we see that the oh. Cressella actually... Zoo, so Shian's Cressella goes for the helping hand, while um, Zul's Charizard goes for the protect. I'm guessing Zul is going for an icy window so that his own Charizard can land hits earlier to I KO faster. I think one of them uh, actually run... Actually, both of them might be a running bulkier Charizards, so this is going to take some time. Icy Wind reducing the speed of uh, Zushin's team, while Zul's Charizard is still at full health, but now is unable to protect. Yep. And we have seen that Zushin has revealed Helping Hand on his Cresselia, uh, double with, I believe, Thunder Wave and Icy Wind. It's a very real possibility that it might not have Moonlight, and, and if that's the case, if Zul's has Moonlight, that might be the, the yeah. factor that will... I mean, as long as Zul managed to get rid of uh, Tuxian's own Charizard first, uh, I mean, Cressella being the bulky one, uh, Heat Waves coming over and over again will, of course, uh, get rid of the Charizard first. Uh, the, a better against Cressella versus Cressella, yeah, it's not going to be hard to believe the one with Moonlight will be the one that wins. Heat wave going out, burning oh. the burning to Shian's Cressella. This might oh, and the triggering it's lump berry. Oh, it's a citrus berry. Oh, citrus berry Cressella. That burn is gonna uh, hurt in the long. Yeah, long so we run see heat waves coming from both sides. Of course, not gonna burn the Cressella as it's already paralyzed. A critical hit on the Charizard. Thunder wave does come out here. Trying to go in a regain the speed advantage because speed is definitely going to be the important factor oh. here on determining who wins. Moonlight coming out, restoring um, Zul's Cressella to full, almost full health, especially since it's in the sun. Yeah. Um, additional 50, uh, which increases the uh, HP heal to about 75%. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I mean, the, in the sun, it is uh, more than usual. Uh, so now uh, uh, now we can see it's already uh, Zul's own uh, Cressella has Moonlight. So if it does end up being a Cressella Cressella battle, Zul's has an advantage unless he's un got unlucky and gets for, uh, paralyzed. So now Zul's uh, win condition will be trying to take out that Charizard mm. and keeping his Cressella alive while waiting for the burn to take down the Shrians. I mean, one thing Zul could do is just to use Moonlight over and over again. <laughs> just to try and avoid uh, getting hit by unlucky critical hits or paralysis or anything like that. I mean, it is. Uh, it does help cover his bases a bit, uh, our, play with the chance. Our mo the problem with Moonlight is that it doesn't have a lot of uh, PP, mm, so true. it seems like it might not be the smartest idea. Oh, and oh. A, crit, a crit happening on Zul's uh, uh, Cresselia. While Zul's Cresselia, Zul goes for an overheat with his Charizard, does it take out the opposing Cresselia? Yes, it does. Wonder why he went for straight for the Cresselia, though. He probably thought that um, it would be down to a 
Crusader versus Crusader, uh, Crusader, uh, Crusader versus Charizard because without the sun, Charizard isn't going to do enough damage to outstall Crusader. But with that critical hit, that um, that might change the whole battle. Now, uh, Tushian's in a position where he can just heat wave yeah. and possibly just take out both of Zul's Pokemon. What Zul's needs right now is hopefully the Charizard misses the Cresselia. Yes. So the Cresselia yes. can moonlight. Yes, that, 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 he has a bank on that. Yeah, and he has mentioned before, um, Zul probably should have just... Oh! oh it happens! You, uh, it happens! It happens. <laughs> Did you see the evade? Does Charizard survive or it doesn't survive? Now we have to see whether Paralysis hits the Cresselia. And oh, it, it does use the moonlight. It does moon use the moonlight. Oh so man! It's still in the game. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but we, I mean, we do have a Charizard against the Cresselia. However, Sun is probably going to run out soon, so yeah. both damage and healing is going to be cut down. But at this point, at this point, it's down to um, whether Zul can outstall and k kill the Charizard, yeah. take out the Charizard before the Charizard can take out his Cresselia. Maybe it's one. Plus one. It's May plus one. <coughs> Maybe one more moonlight and. Uh, I mean, we have not seen Zul use any attack as that the Icy Wind. You have Icy Wind, Calm Mind, Moonlight. If he has Psychic, that might, that might be enough. But yeah. Icy Wind is going to be a bit iffy here, but I mean, it's it, a single target. It, it is, single yeah, target. it is single target. It is uh, times one, thanks to his... Uh, oh, is it Fire Blast actually coming out, making use of that sun? Is it enough to KO? No, no it's not. not. And moonlight, moonlight comes, comes out. back out. Yeah, healing the uh, Cressella, possibly to full health here. Let's see. If we were on uh, timer, if we were on timer, this would be an interesting bet. Yeah, I mean, all uh, so now uh, Sun has a lower power. Uh, Sun is out, so Charizard won't be as powerful. However, Moonlight also won't heal as much. Uh, so Shen Charizard has revealed Heat Wave, Fire Blast. Now it's just going to be using Fire Blast over and over again. Not going to do oh, oh paralysis. Full paralysis. Another thing that Zul could do is he could just try starting Carmine up all the way until he's plus 6 and then just go for the Icy Wind which probably would take out the... the yeah, Carizard. Zul could alternate between Carmine and uh, Moonlight. I mean Carmine would increase his special defense so he could like Outsole, risk. Yeah. Uh, the, going for yeah. the safe play, trying the Moonlight, not risking, a, not wanting to risk a crit here. Yeah, at, at that low HP you're not going to... I mean, oh Moonlight, this does still heal quite a lot. 50%. 50%. Yes, 50%. Uh, so Charizard's uh, Fire Blast deals like roughly only 25%, so now it's forced to use Heat Wave. Not going to be dealing as much damage, a critical hit. Although Psy Shock! Using a special attack against Charizard's relatively friendly defense. Another oh, one more attack! Another hit and Zul will win this game. That was a, I mean, that was a very, that was a miss that Zul really needed at that moment in time, yeah. the Heat Wave. No, he didn't really need it. He didn't really need it. All no. he needs now is that Fire Blast isn't critical yeah. again. Or the, the miss earlier on in the game when Zul was already at low HP. Yes. That was the one he needed. So you see Fire Blast coming out again. I mean, a critical hit wouldn't be enough to take it out. Moonlight, Moonlight comes out again. Playing very safe. Playing very safe. He does not want to get hit by Paralysis <laughs> and... Uh, Covering all his bases. I mean, now he's pretty much as... Uh, he has to pretend as if uh, he can only move every other turn. So... Yes. Just in case of the paralysis, so yes. Moonlight it will be safe. Fire Blast coming out over and over Not again. Not at all, despite its low accuracy. Psyshock coming out. Zul <laughs> wins the game. <laughs> that was that was a close match. I mean, it was a very it was a critical hit that Tushan really want uh would love to have uh putting with paralysis with, with paralysis, paralysis putting putting both Charizard and uh Cressella at low HP. However, Zul was lucky enough to actually evade that heat wave, coming back with the Moonlight. Winning the round, that was extremely close. Carmine obviously saving Carmine. the Cressalia here. Yeah, that, that one Carmine obviously mattered. Yes. It would have, it would have probably came out uh, without the Carmine. Yes. So I guess now we shall move on uh, to an interview with Zul with that quite very close match right there. Yes, yes. Alright, so we'll be right back. So, we are here now with Zul. Um, very well played third match. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, well, I was kind of surprised to be honest, uh, especially that crit. But after that miss, uh, well, it really kind of mattered to be honest. What, so, what do you think about fighting a, a fellow Charizard wide? I mean, I saw you, it was quite touch and go here and there. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. Uh, I'm pretty uh, weak to Charizard wide teams, but uh, I will try to. Uh, uh, play around that. So, um, right in the right in the very first turn, you actually went for the air power on the blaze again. Do you actually expect it to protect or 
Yeah, uh, to be honest, uh, uh, no. Because uh, most of the time, uh, when I lead Charizard and he tried, uh, most bad Lazikan just proceed to attack. So, so I know, uh, so I know, and obviously the nature is either, uh, isn't a uh, plus speed nature. So you are running a quite a fast mission as well, I would assume. Uh, uh, then, it can't, so basically the way you were playing to Shiyan, was basically off how you, all, all the practice you've had currently, right? Yes. How do you feel about Kamai Cresselia? Oh, uh, well, uh, it's good, but uh, especially the uh, crit chance, like, it's slightly too high. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but as we saw, I managed to clutch out the entire game, yeah. right? Okay, um, good luck for your follow rounds and uh, thank you for showing us such a great, intense battle for round three.